the more I watch, the more the show just continues to get better and better. Last episode, Gota. There was a whole 180. He was actually a good guy. There was a setup. There was this girl that was like killing people and taking their parts and, you know, making her more beautiful because she was so obsessed with chasing this to look like a fucking doll. Um, Doran did save everybody. He chose some crazy magic stuff. I don't really care about the fights. I don't really watch it for the fights, but the interactions between the characters are really fun. Right now, Selena and Doran, there's like a bit of... Not drama, but Selena is like, oh no, you're going to go to school? And Dolan's was like, yeah, I might have to go to the academy. I hope both of them are going together. I hope we have some sort of like entrance exam arc. And I'm sure there's going to be more bullying and discrimination that leads to even more hype pop-off moments. Let's begin today's reaction. We ended with some like chimera ant shit happening, right? Damn, you got one shot. I don't know. Clearly, this is going to be like the next arc, right? There seems to be like a... There was like a gate. I think there was a gate and a bunch of ants are coming out. And I was like making soul leveling references. I'm like, oh no, gate break, dungeon break. Ants are fucking coming out. But maybe that's the next arc antagonist. More elves just trashed. More elves. CGI ants. Ooh, that soundtrack though. The forest of Ente. Ente is gonna be ants in this world. It's the uh cow guys. Yo, Lamia? No. Other kids. Lamia blushing at Dolan right now? I think she is, yeah. Yes, we should go to the academy. With Selena. The kids are getting very comfortable around her. The scary Lamia. Jinx. We're gonna go into the forest. We're gonna see more proofs of those ants attacking. Okay, what did you say? Yeah. What do you want to do? A bunch of elves are dying. I want to check out what's going on. What? Uh, sure. A good excuse. Brother, may I have some oats? Watch these two die immediately. Oh, you never know. They might just die immediately. Nature's healing. Wonder who's doing the voice acting for the pigs. Pretty fun to think about them making these noises. Uh oh, where's it going? No, no, don't fall. No, 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 don't do it. Kid. Don't think that's gonna happen. Maybe they'll discover like more elves' bodies or you know more uh, attack from the ants. Or maybe they'll just die immediately. No, the poor piggy. That's not an ant. It's like a tiger thing. Damn, Duran. Sorry, that's Balan. Oh, the CGI ants. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh, old man. You alright? Yo, those ants are pretty powerful, I think. Dude, these ants are so strong. Dude, Balan one shot that bladed tiger. But these ants, they're so fucking powerful. Why? Why are these CGI ants so strong? Easy. 
It's an enter. Okay. Demon. Dweller of the demonic realm of demon. I forgot in episode one, there are some like different like um distinctions, definitions of different monsters and elementals and stuff, but there is like a demonic realm, demons exist, and they did come from like this kind of gate, right? And there was like four people, I think. Yeah, I think these are the four silhouettes that we saw beyond that gate in the in the like the end of the last episode that was like sending these ants through the portal. <laughs> It's a lower rank? Alright. The fuck? He didn't have to do the incantation before. He just did energy though, but maybe the incantation makes it stronger. Okay. I mean, she is like the best graduate at the academy. It's secret knowledge. You sure we should keep this a hidden secret from people when we're nearby? Surprised the NPCs live. Okay. Not a monster, it's a demon. Exactly, he sh one shot the tiger, then the ant destroyed him so easily. These scouts are on a different tier. Think about the actual demons. Think about like high tier demons. Okay. Demon. We should tell her that it's a demon. Live with it? Act like it doesn't exist and just survive? Okay. I've heard of her passive about this, the demons will just attack more. We'll take Chris and Selena. Take the two ladies. Oh. What would you do? You should blame the academy saying, what, your strongest fucking graduate got beat by a fucking ant? Your academy fucking sucks. Now nah, they wouldn't blame us. I fucking direct the blame back at them. Fuck that shit. Chris should be the ones keeping us safe, bro. The fuck? We're just in that random out boot, like the country bumpkin side over here. She's like the strongest fucking academy graduate. Come on now. Yeah, a city that will come. True. She's so determined, man. Okay, no Chris. That'll be fine. They're too important to the story to die. I don't know about perfectly unharmed, though. Fan service incoming. She's so cute and funny. <laughs> Look at the two butterflies to symbolize the two pairing over here happening, just couples. What? Hmm? Let oh, Chris! She may be the strongest graduate, but goddamn, she sucks at lying, bro. 100% just great acting skills. I can't believe that she thinks that we're supposed to just fall for this. I feel way more comfortable with Chris, though. These are just regular monster spiders, right? あなたが村の外に出るのは村長に禁止されているのでは納得してくれたものと思ったのだが。It's <laughs> not your problem. It's my problem too. It's my town too. I prefer that you come with us. どうも。え? 
では。My Coomer brain was like, boom. I feel like there should be like an ass over here, but there's no ass. It's like the camera is trying to do like fan service right now by showing the bottoms of girls, but you know, she's a fucking Lamia. How does she poo? Where, where, where are the, the, the organs that help, you know, fucking excrete? How does snake poo actually? I, I, I gotta know this right now. How does snakes poo? Okay, Google says uh, snake pooped through an opening called the cloaca, which is located at the end of their belly and the beginning of their tail. The cloaca is also used for urination, mating, and laying eggs. Damn, they got one hole for everything. So basically where the Lamia's coochie is that handles pissing, shitting, mating, <laughs> and laying eggs too. The Here's some, uh, something you should know about snake poop. The appearance. Snake poop is wet and oblong in shape with pointed tips in a partial white color. It's similar in appearance to bird droppings. Bruh. I didn't need to fucking know this. <laughs> I should not have fucking searched this up. Now I'm gonna be thinking, you know, whenever we see Lamia's fucking belly button, they're like, you know, the beginning of the tail or the end of the stomach. That's where that shit is. That's where her fucking Lamia coochie is, bro. <laughs> What about a snake dick? How do they mate? I'm sorry, I gotta do this. How, how does a snake make baby? <laughs> uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Do male snake have pee pee? <laughs> Snakes do not produce urine like men. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Male snakes have two penises. They're called hemipenes, hemipene, that they use for mating. Where are they? They extend from the cloacal opening when everted. How they work? Each hemipenis is connected to its own independent system of testes. Okay. Um, they got two dicks. Snakes got uh, two dicks, and I think it also comes from their fucking, you know, the same place where, you know, fucking they pee poo and everything. Anyway, this is fucking crazy. This is wild. This is, this is some crazy lore we're learning right now. Oh shit, it's a big monster. Big bear. Monkey! Monkey! <laughs> It's a domesticated monkey? It's so kind! Monkey kids! Hmm. But there's like, you know, but I, I wonder if... Selena could have convinced the bladed tiger too because it looks like she can just, you know, communicate and just make them feel at ease. So every monster? Maybe some monsters can, some monsters can't. And probably we can't do this to demons. Aww, the mean people, bro. Is the jam made of some sussy shit too? Monkey one apple. The forbidden apple. Pet it. Can we pet you? The demons. Demons are pushing them out. Sandwiches. Too much slice of life is happening. Something bad's gonna happen. There, there's too much chilling right now. I feel like we're just building up the karma for something shitty to happen. Tina likes the monkeys a lot. Oh, please let the monkeys live. 
Yeah, Christina got that aura. The glaze, man. Yeah, so I can charm Dolan with this. Oh, you're plenty charming. Indirect Riz incoming. Bro's not even gonna be aware that he's basically just like rizzing her up. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. You heard that shit, right? Your husband's right in front of you. He did do a very interesting thing in episode one where he like gave her his mono or something, right? And like a husband and when they mate and stuff, like some sort of poison shit gets in the way and you need to find somebody that can be tolerant enough. I'm sure Doran is the perfect candidate. Probably at this rate. This is not a proposal. She's jumping to conclusions like no other. Wait, wait. Demons? Demons? Oh, oh, oh. What? Got little pixies and fairies in here too? I think demons are coming, bro. Get away. Yes. The CGI is definitely jarring, but relative to let's say like failure frame and shit, it's like not even that bad at all. The ant movement, it's, it's kind of funny, but like whenever I think about like failure frame, bro, this shit isn't even, isn't even the fucking close. Oh shit, he got both and rain? It looks good. Those two ant scenes look good. Like even right now. Wait, 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 wait. This is genius actually. The fuck? There was one coming from behind. We thought there was only one happening the entire time. Psych, I got you, motherfucker. Yo, cool strategy. The hidden ants. One handed. Okay, we can do partial dragon transformations. Cool, cool. Easy. Yeah, I, I, so far we've seen him use like pretty basic magic. In the last episode when he finished off that thing, he, he created like this like, he like trapped him in this like little barrier thing and just like arrows rained down and people got destroyed. But I don't think I've seen like dragon shit just yet, right? So like, yeah, this is his true power. We haven't even seen like close to his true like power just yet. There must be limitations though. Maybe he's like very nerfed. What was that? Jaram? Snake. Snake. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? She's basically it's like a magic snake thing. And I guess no one saw the transformation, huh? They're too busy with the other ants. Stop it. She's gonna think that you're gonna fucking marry twice now. Don't you dare type wood in chat. I swear to god, you freaky motherfuckers. Poor Merle. Yep. Behind there, right? This was last episode's ending scene. There's some dudes beyond that gate, man. Some high tier demon. Got horns and shit. And there's four of them, I think. Like four demon generals or some shit.
お手伝いしてくれるのはマールとっても嬉しいんですけど、うん、みんな<笑>そのようだ By the ants? マゾク敵より The monster that's on the run right now Yep, I come in peace Show them that you show no harm Elves Forest elves Potimas. I bet they're racist as fuck. The end. That's today's episode of Goodbye Dragon Life, and it's a setup. We're beginning a new arc, and what's going on? The forest. There's some strange behavior happening. All the monsters are actually running away from the forest. Why? Because there's an even bigger threat. Demons. Demon realm. A separate place through a gate. The scouts are being sent out. Why? I have no clue. There must be some like important demon general type of people. We've seen this little bit like four shadowy people, right? So they're planning something. Maybe it's just as simple as, ooh, we demons are evil and we're here to destroy you for fun because we're evil. I'm not sure if they have like a really big plan or something. So I guess the academy stuff is going to be held for now. Selena, Doran, Pristina. They're all in the forest, and now the wood elves are also coming up because the elves are just getting fucked up too. They're all getting one shot. They're probably going to be very cold towards us, right? You know, stereotypical elves in shows are just super racist and always, you know, keeping to themselves, but they're going to need our help. And with Doran's help to save the forest, I'm sure they're going to be very grateful and beyond. That's it from me. If you're still here, though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And I'll uh, take care.